Well, you know, that other thing, again, and, I, and I'm so... I think balance is one thing that's really, really missing, not only in hip-hop from the art side, but also from the audience perspective. And I think that there's some cliche stuff that people are attacking Nicki Minaj about, okay, attractive, in the, at least in the American standard sense or whatever. And I know exactly what she's doing, and I understand there's a lineage that comes from the little Kim and the Missy Misdemeanor with the wild and crazy stuff or whatever, but she's found a niche that works for her. And although a lot of people don't necessarily give her credit, I'm like, wait a minute, she's on about 40 records. Um, she's still putting, I don't know if she's writing her own stuff, but if she is, it's great. But she's still performing at a rate that a lot of people couldn't do. So I give her a lot of credit for what she does and the way she's doing it. And again, to never underestimate the entrepreneur side and the economic side or whatever. Job one is say you got to pass a so what test. You can get up and rhyme 100 bars and you can rhyme great, but then there's a so what part. What is it that's going to make people draw to you? What are you going? To, how are you going to draw them in? What are they going to pay attention to? And Nicki Minaj has figured that out. So in figuring that out, of course, some of the attack comes with it based on how she does it. But I love what she's doing. I love what that whole camp is doing, quite frankly. And like I said, it's it's not on them to do artistically what we want. If that's not your station, change the station. <laughs> it's basically, it's not her responsibility to do it the way. Uh, and I don't know enough about her personally, quite frankly, to even have an opinion on you know where she comes from and why she's doing what she's doing. I just know that she's doing what she's doing is working.